Tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine, we wanna chase the night. Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice. Hold on, just got a lower my mic. Just a little bit like that. Well, sorry about that. A bit of a glitch thing. Again, I say welcome to Crime and Justice.
hopefully, if I've got the timings right, and hopefully if they are writing what they said in their last press release about Elijah Vu and his mother, Katrina, well, I, I'm sorry, I cannot call her a mother. And the person called Katrina Barra and the person called Jesse Vang have now been charged with the, the murder, the death of Elijah Vu. Now, Elijah Vu was three years old, and I've got some. Well, actually, I'm going to show you this one. I'll show you this document. I'll put it up here first. Let's just get it up on the screen until I find what I'm waiting for. Hopefully, it'll come on. Right, this was the last um, criminal complaint. It was the amended criminal complaint that I know of. I have searched and searched, can't find nothing else, so this has to be the last one. And this is the amended criminal complaint, because if you remember, she was only charged with three charges before, it then went to four. And earlier, I've done a live and it showed where the prosecutor spoke about the amended complaint and that was because concerning the other child of that person, that woman, Katrina Barra. Lovely person, isn't she? Two children she can't even look after. She sends one away to leave for a while, a week, maybe, with a boyfriend. Hmm, yeah. Jesse Vang. And it was in that time that he was at Jesse Vang, something happened, and a little boy was unalived. Now, today I found out from watching another YouTube news thing that apparently... Um, hang on, let's see if I can find it again. Right, apparently he had a skull fracture, a healing, healing skull fracture. So that meant... Before he actually died, he actually had a head injury. Right? This is before he died, he actually had a head injury. Which was, which has started to heal. Right, where is it? Which one is it? I'll get off there. See, I'm waiting to see what happens. I think this now. Um. Oh, ABC News. I'm just. I'm gonna check their channel first. They might be covering. Um, there is it again. Oh, I had to find something, and then I can't find it again. Is this the one?
No, that was from 14 hours ago, which we discussed. Yeah, this is all from 14, 28, 2 hours, 18 hours, nothing yet coming up. So, I'm keeping my eye on all these channels. <coughs> so, but I, I did put this document and three others on my Discord page. And it's, it's under the heading Elijah Vu. I'm not sure if I've got the link in here. Let's have a look. Let's just make sure, let's just see what I've got. i put the link in here. No, I haven't. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a... You know when you got that feeling on the back of your throat, like someone's got a flipping feather, and it's tickling in the back of your throat, and you want to <coughs> smack them one, and you can't. So you... Try to drown them with coffee or water. <coughs> right? Well, this was the amended one. Um, as I said, I don't want to go too deep into anything because I want to make sure that I've got, I'm checking all the channels. Right. So, let's just get back out of here. Because I did say 1.45, and 1.45 in the UK is 6.45 here. Right. P.M. I'm trying to find any possible channels that might be covering it. And it's normally a local channel that covers it. So let's just keep it. Come on. Hmm. So, I'm not finding anything at the moment. And it's so annoying because... I really don't want to miss this one. Uh, I'm just flicking through, making sure I'm covering everything here because I want to know what those charges actually mean. Does it mean, it's, is it murder? Is it manslaughter? Because if it's just physical abuse of a child that's not because either way this little boy was killed was unalive and someone should 
There's a lot of slap in the face charges, I think. They really are. I know how they break it down in the USA, which I do like how they can break one charge down to about six or eight little charges, which all add up to bigger... <coughs> Sorry. Right, which add up to longer time in jail, in prison, jail, whatever. We're over here. Something like this would be a slap on the back of the hand and don't do it again, sort of thing. Yeah. No, they would get a decent sentence over here, but they, they don't break it down like they have to do over in the USA. And I think they need to start breaking our... Oh God, this cat's a mine. Go away. No, go. Go. Go and get your dinner. Go. No. Don't look at me like that. Go and get your dinner. Both of you. Right, and... They need to start breaking... the charges down. Because that way you can... See you can actually say, okay, this is what happened to the child. If he's been charged with physical abuse of a child repeatedly, <coughs> you know he repeatedly physically abused a child, causing death. When the UK, they wouldn't put it like that. They just put it down to child neglect or child abuse. Boom. That's it, one title sort of thing. And we literally have to... It's like pulling teeth in the UK to get any information on any case. So it's really, really hard to cover cases in the UK, I find. Because some cases you don't hear about until it's gone to court or it's going to court. And then thinking, oh, John, why didn't I hear about this? Some cases you do hear, and that depends on the family. Like sometimes something happens and the family get in touch with a newspaper or a TV station. My child has been missing, my child was abducted, blah, blah. Boom. You'll have, you'll have it on TV. It'll be on TV. And that's when we hear about it, when it hits the TV. Right, so... But unless it gets to the mainstream media, the news, we don't get to hear about it. It's very, very rare we get to hear about any cases like that, like this in the UK. And I know there's more. There's lots of cases like this every day in the UK, but we don't get to hear about them. So I'm just keeping my eye out. But... Anything to do with Elijah Vu, come on. Oh, oh, is this it? Yes, I think this is it. I think we have a first court appearance on new charges. The charges in the uh, matter are obstructing, hiding a corpse, and physical abuse of a child of repeated acts causing death. Uh, Ms. Faye, since you are handling this one, go ahead, please. I'm trying to see if I can get it any larger for you. As large as it will go. Manitowoc Jail, date of birth, 11-4-1984. Right. She is asking for a five hundred thousand dollar cash bail conditions to include no contact with the co defendant and no contact with any children of the five hundred thousand the defendant's prior record, cash bond uh, started in two thousand two in Allegheny County with for the crime of criminal damage to property. Uh, that same year, fleeing an officer in Manitowoc, battery by prisoner. Um, there was a 
crime only is in Allegheny County, delivery of cocaine in Winnebago County in 2005, possession of cocaine in 04 and 06, resisting obstructing in 07. Oh, see if I can find some more now. This has got this better. Because this is ridiculous. I can't hear this. Come on. His charges in this case have been increased. They are very serious charges. They are the most serious charges which involve the death and not only the death of another person. Oh, UK. That's to be all UK. I'll share this from his date. That was quick. So it's a five hundred thousand dollar cash bond. <sighs> Isn't heavy again? You couldn't afford the first one, and that was what twenty thousand dollar. Cash bond or something like that. So now we should have Katrina. Hmm. The person like who calls herself a M O T H E R. I I won't call her that. I won't, I cannot call her that. I cannot call her a mother. Because I, I, I just can't, I'm sorry. Here she is. 
There she is. Look at that lovely piece of ish. Okay. All right. Our next individual then is Katrina Bauer here for a bail hearing regarding 24 CF 693. Yes. I will note that attorney, please correct me if I'm wrong. It is Amanda Gretz. Amber Gretz. Amber Gretz. Okay. Well, I thought without looking it up. Um, and even though she's in the situation that we are all probably too aware of, um, basic information first, date of birth, address, phone number that you want used, um, anything before we hear from the VA. What's listed in the criminal complaint? Okay. Um, I guess we'll leave that as is. We'll just verify the date of birth is this December 9th, 1992. The jail is the current location, although she does have a home address that's in the complaint. All right. Uh, Commissioner, the state is asking for $400,000 cash bail conditions to include no contact with the co-defendant, no contact with children under the age of 18. Her prior record is uh, disorderly conduct out of Winnebago County in 2011, a disorderly conduct in Allegheny County from 2016, some traffic-related offenses, and then she does have an arrest out of state in Las Vegas um, from 2014, but I don't have a disposition on that, but it does show that she has some out of state contact. As I had indicated with the co-defendants um, bail argument, this is the most serious type of cases here involving the death of a small child. Um, Ms. Bauer allowed and even sent the victim to this residence for um, the boot camp or the discipline. She condoned it. She allowed it to happen and even left him there uh, days before he passed away when she had the opportunity to remove him from that situation. He was um, abused over this period of time, as I had indicated previously, when you look at Dr. Kutzka's information towards the end of the complaint, as far as the physical issues with the standing, the maltreatment, with the psychological and emotional terrorizing that also incurred. Uh, the state feels that a significant cash bail is appropriate in this case, and I would ask for the $400,000 cash. Thank you. All right, I didn't read the charges into the record. Uh, we do have the two counts of obstructing for Ms. Bauer, chronic child neglect, specific uh, specified harm did not occur, and then Felony child neglect. Attorney Grass, go ahead, please. Thank you, Your Honor. We um, would note for the record that she is currently sitting on a $15,000 cash bond, which she is, has no ability to post in a significant amount of time. She does have ties to the community and has been a lifelong resident of Wisconsin. She has no ties to the community. All right, well, um, Her mother said that before. And, and much as I had said for Mr. Bain, the community is encouraged to remember presumed innocence until proven guilty when the evidence is all heard and a decision is rendered. Um, that is when punishment occurs. This is not that phase of the trial or the proceedings. However, I am aware of that cash bond and her inability to post and the unwillingness of the court to reduce that to date. I don't see that that is likely to change. However, each matter has to be looked, if not in a silo, at least looked at separately and considered. These charges are extremely serious. And recognition um, of the death of this young child does need to be given. I am going to set the cash bail as $400,000 as requested with the conditions, strict no contact with Jesse Vang 
and no contact with any other person under the age of 18, except as permitted for her child. Is that still being allowed for other child? We're working with the other child manager. So do you want an exception now or not? At this point, I would ask for no contact with children under 18, and then we'll work out specific wording regarding that child. All right, I will leave it that way. I know this is going to be um, something that will be dealt with going forward as well. And I don't know enough about this other child situation to try to craft anything at this time, so that seems appropriate. All right, so I will make it strictly any child under the age of 18, the initial appearance, from Ms. Bauer, as for Mr. Bang, is being set for Monday, October 21st, 1 p.m. Branch 4. I am sure that with discussion with the um, jail, you'll be able to figure out exactly whether they're going to be in the room at the same time or not. I would suspect not, because I don't have a differential, uh, a different time set for each of them. Ms. Bauer, failure to appear, a warrant would be issued. Failure to comply with the conditions could result in additional charges. You obviously have the right to be represented by a lawyer. I don't know if that's going to continue with the same lawyer since we've got a different set of charges, but um, I'm sure that will be taken care of. With that, we are adjourned. Thank you. So we're off the record. All right. So that's the bail hearing. That was the bail hearing. Okay. So Jesse Bang has got a five hundred thousand dollar cash bond. No contact with KB, that's Katrina Barra, or any child under eighteen years. Katrina Barra, $400,000 cash bond, no contact with JV or any child under the age of 18. Now, I did hear one mention about the daughter, because just not, not so long before they found Elijah, it had come out that uh, the court had agreed to have um, supervised visits she could have a supervised visit with her daughter. And I'm thinking, oh, hold on. One of her charges is neglect of that child. So she shouldn't be getting any contact with that child. I'm sorry. Right? One of the charges is for that child, the fourth charge that she was given. is for that child. But now they're going to look at it again because they, they've said any child under the age of 18. Right? So let's just see if I've got anything else coming up. I'm sorry about the beginning. The first one was very low in... Um, in volume, and I, I tried everything. That's why I switched channels because it was the volume was too low in the other one. So, but I'm glad we managed to catch it. So they're, they're never in court long. It's never long, these, these bail hearings. They never are. They never are. So it's gone from $15,000 to four hundred. dollars no, They're not getting out. Put it that way. They're not getting out. So if this... Well, I don't know in the US, if say you're in jail for like four years before you go to trial and you get found guilty, do they take those four years off your sentence?
because I'm not in the UK, they do. <coughs> <coughs> so, but that was that. And I will see if I can find any new paperwork on this. It might be too early for it yet. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see if I can find anything. No, nothing's coming up at the moment. Not on the site I use anyway, and it's the only one I can use because I'm in the UK, right? It's very hard for me to get information and documents that I need, that I would like. It's like I would like a copy of that uh, press release I did the other day. Yeah, I'd love a copy of that. So, I'm not, I'm not seeing nothing new come up, so let's just close that window. Anyway, so, as I said, this is a short and sweet video, live. It's just to keep you updated with what's going on. Finally, I've caught up to date with the Elijah Vu case. I've actually caught a live. I haven't been able to catch a live in ages. In ages, because I was never, I never knew the dates or the times. You know what I mean? So that is it. They are not getting out of jail. And they don't deserve to. What I'd like to, I'd like to, I think I'm going to go and watch that video again. Um, the $500,000 cash bond is with a no contact with Kate Katrina Barra or any child under 18 years. Katrina Barra is 400000 $400,000 cash bond, no contact with Jesse Bank or any child under the age of 18. I did hear the day October 21st. I think that is when they're in court again. Whether they'll be there in person, we don't know. Right? Because she said they won't be at the same time. So I don't think, I think they might be there in person. We'll see. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. It is only short life, this one. It was just so that we could catch the bail hearing. So, anyway, I would just like to say thank you for watching my video. Thank you for being here. And I'll be back again at 8 p.m. tonight, my usual time. And we're looking at Sebastian. Wayne Drake Rogers because there's something that's been bothering me for a while and I, I want to look at it and discuss it okay anyway so until then stay safe be good and have a good few hours before I see you again